Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pager here once again with another video on, well, not just the Flash Season 6, not just RS Season 8, because it's some crisis stuff. And one of these things is just, wow, like it's something we've been waiting for just to get announced and we thought it was ever going to happen and it just it finally happened in a really weird way, but we'll, we'll get to that throughout the video. But of course, throughout the video, be sure to leave all of, your, all of your various opinions and stuff in the comments section down below and try and watch at least the majority of the video, I guess, before writing something in the comments because you know how it is. But yeah, leave all your opinions down there. If you're going to enjoy it, be sure to drop a like on the video to show your support. So obviously, you know, one of the big things we're excited for heading into this season is, well, obviously Apartment 4, but, obviously, but you know, outside of that, you know, push that to the side, the most excited thing in the world, well, the thing we're most excited for, push that to the side. The next thing we're most excited for is, of course, the big event that's been hyped up since last season, I guess ever since The Flash Season 1, which is, of course, Crisis on Infinite Earths. We've been waiting for it. Uh, the big thing that's, <clears throat> I think, that we're all waiting for you know, outside of it airing is also when it starts filming. Now, from what we know, this crossover won't start filming like officially where it's like, okay, everything's a focus on crisis until about like, sorry for my watch going off, but until about like late September, early October. Now, I think the the thing that um, sort of like put like a timeline on things was Brandon Routh. Of course, we know he's reprising his role as the um, as Superman. He's going to play like a Kingdom Come older version of Superman. Now, when he, this got announced, he was able to talk freely on Twitter about, you know, him getting prepped for this role. Now, I think he said that he's in like a six-week training program um, to get into like shape to play Superman. So, I'm guessing the suit's going to be really tight on him or he's just going to have to do stuff where he has to look sort of more muscular and more Superman-esque. So, he's on like a training program to get into that, you know, that physique and that shape. And I'm pretty sure it said six weeks. So that was just after Comic-Con. So that was about almost two weeks ago now. So I would say, you know, that would put us in like mid or uh, mid September that all, uh, that crisis would start filming. But from other things we've heard, it's pretty much going to be like late September to early October that that, you know, this start, you know, this thing starts to get filmed and that lines up with the crossovers from like previous years, but it probably gives them like an extra week or two or a week or two head start. And I'll probably go for like a week or two longer as well. But of course, they'll let us know. They usually let us know when they start filming the crossovers. So it's not this big thing of like predicting and just waiting for, you know, little clues and stuff from set. They usually say, yo, we're starting to film now. Like Stephen Amell will say it or something like that. Now, one thing that came out um, about, I don't know, let's just say, I'm going to say 16 hours before you'll see this video because I don't know how long it's going to be from when it came out to when this video goes out. Um, but this, vi this image came out and you'll see the image right here. Um, which is like sort of like a blurred image from like an editing room where it shows on screen that we have um, Tyler Hicklin's Superman, Melissa Benoist's uh, Supergirl and Brandon Routh's Superman. Obviously, Melissa Benoist um, has her like season, what are they on? Season five of Supergirl. So that season five look for her. And then Brandon Routh's Superman has that Kingdom Come sort of look with like the different logo and everything like that. So this went online and I would say it's a bit 50-50. So 50-50 in regards to people that believed it and people thought it was fake. Now, if you want to know, people still think this is real because it's, that, that's the issue. We'll get into it in a second, like why it's an issue, but people think this is real. I'm here to tell you this is 100% fake. Now, I picked up on it straight away when people were sending it to me. I was like, yo, it's fake. It's fake because I remembered this, the image as soon as I saw it. Um, they took the Tyler Hecklin image from the season two finale of Supergirl, where it was Melissa Benoist on his right on our left and, um, Alex Danvers or Charlie Lee's Alex Danvers or Kyla Lee, whatever her name is, um, on his left and our right. And basically they're just like superimposed and like photoshopped, um, the Brandon Routh Superman and the Melissa Benoist season five Supergirl. And I could tell it was fake before that because Brandon Routh Superman just looked fake. He didn't look real. He looked cartoon-esque like he was from some sort of like animation thing. I don't know how people fell for it. I was sort of shocked that people did fall for it. But yeah, this is 100% fake. So if you are seeing this, please don't spread it and say it's something because that's the biggest issue. And that's when I move on to this thing. So these fake things annoy me. Now you might be going, oh, Paige, you've done like April Fool's things and stuff. Yeah, on April Fool's. That's when I think it's fine. I'm saying like whenever you, April Fool's is fair game, even like the day before and the day after April Fool's, you know, try and do it on April Fool's. But if it's around that time, it's fair game. Who cares? I get really annoyed when it's this because it can be a little bit of a joke, but it spreads and then you'll get people thinking it's legitimate and they go down they, and then they spread it. And then like the actors have to come out and try and say something. It's annoying just because of those reasons. Now, I'm not going to like 
you know, point fingers and blame, trying to send hate. I've already talked to the person that did this and like, I was like, like, you're an idiot. Like, why would you do this? But, um, just try not to spread this. I'm just telling you right now it's fake because there's still people as I'm recording this video, even though it's been about, I'd say about four hours or something since this thing came out, sending me this thing saying, have you seen this image? Oh my God, please do a video on it. And I have to reply, yo, it's fake. Please stop sending me this stuff. So yeah, this thing is fake. Um, we're not going to get anything official crisis wise in regards to like said photos or anything like that could potentially be this until, as I was saying, like late September, early October. And they'll probably do the Brandon Routh reveal in like their own thing. Like they'll do a social media thing where they'll show Brandon Routh in that suit. Um, so they get the first, you know, drop on it. So this is, these things fake. So just ignore it. But now let's move on to something that isn't fake because the actor confirmed it, which is this, this, this like drop of information was so random and it's the most random drop of information because it's something that a lot of people that watch the DC TV stuff have been waiting to see if it would actually happen. And that's that black lightning has been confirmed for Christ on infinite earths. Now the way in which it was dropped was weird. Now a site, I think it was, we got this covered, put the thing out there, like an article saying this has happened and Crest Williams who plays black lightning confirmed it. Like he confirmed it. He said, oh, it's happening. And the thing that sort of doubled down on this outside of Cress Williams confirming it that plays the goddamn character is that Grant Gustin who plays the Flash confirmed by saying, congrats, can't wait to see it happen or something along the... You'll see the Instagram post. I'm going off the top of my head. It's something like cool or something like that. So Grant Gustin doubled down on it. What This is the most random confer confirmation of anything I've ever seen. I couldn't believe it. I thought it was fake at first. I was like, no, he's just seen this thing, thought it's an official confirmation then gone ahead with it. But then he's kept it up there, double down. Grant Gustin's gone on a double down. I'm like, what? This is so random. Anyway, so Black Lightning's in crisis. I don't know how they're going to introduce him because um, he's not going to have his own episode. Black Lightning, the show, won't have an episode. And it's always been this big thing about Black Lightning coming in because, um, or big issue because they film in Atlanta. So they film on like on the other side of the continent of North America. Um, they film ages away from Vancouver where the other shows film. So I don't know if it's just going to be Black Lightning, just the singular character of Black Lightning that's going to be in the Crisis crossover and he might only be there for like an episode or if that whole gang of superheroes are coming over. We'll have to wait and see. I'm sure we'll get more information on it, um, but we have to go off this. Basically, the actor confirmed it put an Instagram post up, um, Instagram post up of it and wasn't told to take it down. And then Grant Gustin, um, commented on it. So it must be legitimate. We have to go off it and just say it's legitimate because there's facts there. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think about Black Lightning coming into the crisis crossover because they sort of denied it at Comic-Con, but now this is happening. So maybe they just didn't have the full on clearance and didn't know exactly what was going on, but it seems like it's confirmed now. And the last thing to talk about is, um, Stephen Amell. Of course, plays Oliver Queen, aka the Green Arrow on Arrow. That show's wrapping up, and he did uh like did a bit of a, a discussion, if you want to call it, and stuff about Crisis came up, and he says that the one casting he really wants for Crisis on Infinite Earths is Tom Welling, who of course played Clark Kent, or well, just Clark Kent, I guess you could say, or the Blur on Smallville, and then I guess towards the end became Superman. Um, so that's the casting he wants, and obviously that's the casting that a lot of people want to see because really. We're expecting a lot of like other people to come in. I think we're even expecting some other Smallville people to come in. Like I think the two, well, the one that I think won't happen, I'd be very, this is the one that I think would be very, very surprising if it happened. And that's Justin Hartley, who played obviously Oliver Queen or the Green Arrow on Smallville. And the reason I say that is because he's on like This Is Us, which is like one of the biggest TV shows. It might not only be hard to get him to come do this thing, but it might cost a lot for them to um, get him to come do this thing. So I think Justin Hartley's the hardest one to get to come back and do anything. But I think Michael Rosenbaum, who played Lex Luthor, would be happy to come over and do it because he's got friends that are involved with the Arabist, one of them being Stephen Amell. Um, but Tom Welling, in the same boat as Michael Rosenbaum, is sort of um, friendly with Stephen Amell. They did like a whole wine thing last... Was it earlier this year? I think it was earlier this year. So I think Tom Welling is on w wouldn't be too hard to get back it just matters what he's doing at that stage because i think at the moment he's filming something in south africa i don't know when that ends though so he might just be able to come in and do like a small cameo i think any of these classic um like dc tv actors that do come into crisis they're, they're going to be small roles outside of maybe like john wesley ship and what he does with like a, either whether it's jay garrick or the earth 90 flash i think he's probably the only one 
that will have like a not as small role but i think like linda carter comes into it or any of these smallville people or, or any of these other people from the past i think their cameos or roles are going to be fairly small like 10 15 minutes at the most if you're lucky so yeah but bl- like with Blue black lightning coming in there i'd expect him in there for at least an episode like a full episode if not more but any of these other people coming from like classic shows I expect small cameos at the most, um, but yeah, like 10 to 15 minutes at the most. So um, yeah, I don't know what role he could play. Um, I think a lot of people obviously want him to play like, you know, a version of Superman, but you've already got Brandon Routh playing it. So I think if they brought Tom Welling in to be something else, obviously a lot of people might want him to play like another Earth's Bruce Wayne. Uh, That'd be interesting, but um, let me know what you'd like to see him play in the comment section down below. But yeah, guys, that's the end of the video. Um, Hopefully it wasn't too crap. Like this is probably one of the like, just off the cuff videos I've made just because I saw that photo. I thought I've got to talk about this and just try and squash it down because people are still spreading it. And then obviously this black lining stuff came out like at 3.30 a.m. my time, um, like I guess 24 hours ago from when you're watching this video. So I was sleeping. It always seems to happen in the off season. The information just comes out really, really early in the morning. Um, so I thought I'd just do a discussion of it. We really, there wasn't really too much to talk about it. It's just that, you know, Crest Williams posted it. So yeah, we didn't really have much context outside of that. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, guys, it would be awesome if you could drop a like and it to show support. Let me know in the comments section down below your various opinions on what we went over. And of course, if you are, uh, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.